Hey, good morning. Here we are again. Uh, we're going to do these beautiful blue hydrangeas again. Big field of them in front of this white house. I'm going to do a little sketch of it. I know it's very hard to see on the video, but uh, maybe you can just check out my lines, uh, just starting with the rooftop. I'm just sketching in uh, the roof and the dormers, you know, you're just sketching to guide you, you know, you're redrawing with your brush once you start painting, so. Just looking at one line where it meets another line, you know. Everything is relative in drawing. So I just have those two dormers and the slant of the house that's important here, so. Okay, there's the slant of the roof. Where that corner starts, peak of the house. And I'm just, these circles, I'm just placing these bushes where I see them, no detail. Remember, a loose, a loose drawing helps make a loose painting versus doing a lot of detail and a lot of drawing, so. All right, I'm gonna place the uh, blue hydrangeas now, and what I'm doing is just drawing circles and I'm laying out the flowers, so I wanna create a path, not necessarily what's in the painting, I mean, I'm sorry, what's in the photo, but where I want the viewer's eye to go. So I'm trying to create this diagonal zigzag of the flowers. And much bigger in the front, remember that, the smaller in the back and bigger, bigger in the front, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a little bit of raw sienna in the background there on the house just to make it a little brighter and then I'm going to put some cobalt blue on there just to cool it. Uh, you won't even see this once it dries. It's very very light but I just want to get some color on there. Okay so I'm going to start with the doing the flowers and, and this is primarily uh, you know ultramarine. What you want to do is lay out all your blues. Ultramarine, cobalt blue, Windsor blue, you know, and all the blues because they really, these flowers take all blue and some rose. You know, here and there you want to put some rose in there so you get some beautiful violet tones. It's really nice. That helps to create some nice diversity in your colors and flowers. And, so lay out a nice path of flowers and try to get some shapes in there. You know, don't don't put individual flowers like like dots and spots here and there, but join them in a group so that they make a nice shape. And you can shape them and re redesign them as you put your greens in later, but you want to lay out a nice path. Okay, see how that nice three or four together and be aware of the viewer's eye. I'm giving it a spray here because I want to keep them alive because now that I've spotted them, I'm going in with a towel and I'm just lifting off some light off the flowers and, and that's nice. What it does is it, it creates some texture and uh, you, you know, what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna just touch all of them here and lift off some paint and as I say, create some texture but then I'll go in and individually, you know, wrap that towel around my finger and so forth and press individually to sort of create that light on each, on each flower, you know, just on each hydrangea. And it creates a nice uh, sense of light. So, you know, this is just, you know, the first blush on doing your flowers. All right, I'm gonna paint the house in. I wanna get the background done I'm actually using the same violet here. I put a little drop of uh, 
uh, raw sienna in that to gray it down a slight bit, but I kept it pretty much pretty much fine. I made it a little bit darker. I added a little uh, ultramarine blue in this one to make it a little darker for the windows. All right, top window, bottom window, side window. Okay, we don't need much in that house. We just want enough to identify it. It's a beautiful background. Keep it nice and white. You know, the white and the blues really work beautifully together. So I'm going to darken the roof a little bit. Let me roofs. It's a shadow underneath the eave there. I know that roof is gonna gonna dry very light, so all right. I'm gonna get into the trees and the bushes here. Uh, very dark. You, you know, this is ultramarine with quin gold, quinacridone gold. This beautiful dark green. So I'm just placing my darks right now. And what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm placing them, and, and what I'll do is gradually get lighter as they get closer to the edges and, you know, as it moves in. But what I want to do is just place my darks right now. A couple of flowers, uh, they're actually in front of those dark bushes, but you want to use that dark to make them pop. All right, so I added a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of yellow, and made it much lighter, a little water, obviously. And I'll make the edges much lighter, and I'll really work work the edges of the dark uh, spots that I put in there so that it'll all blend. Leave some holes now through the trees. Very, very important. I can't, you, you know, I keep saying it every time we paint trees. But you, you need to leave those holes. You need that space, that airiness. That it really is nice. So you can see that lighter green working now. Uh, it's giving it some form and some shape. A little bush there. Very dark tree there. That's the trunk of that tree. Really dark. All right. All right. I added a little touch of uh, Windsor green. Uh, I want to make that that tree itself nice and light, and just go right into the trunks. So you don't want, you know, you don't want any hard edges up there. So just, you know, wherever you go over, just just rub out that rub out those hard, hard branches. We'll go in and suggest some others later. But, so it gets lighter and lighter as it gets to the edges and more light is hitting it. Okay, little distant uh, trees, bushes, leaves coming off that tree. All right, so we want to get that whole background done before we work on these flowers. Just work in the branches and leaves of the trees. Plenty of holes, you know. All right, so I'm going in suggesting these uh, branches. pushing those darks. The darks are really beautiful. So very darks up in the tree, uh, some nice darks. And when you put them up there, just be aware that, uh, you know, they could be anywhere, but you want to make the edges soft. You know, you don't want to leave hard edges on the darks. Edges are really important, really important. All right, so the background's pretty much done. Uh, what I'm going to do here is go into the greens uh, you don't want to see me paint every inch of these greens, so I, s I sped this up for you. But 
the key here is to change your greens you know change the greens are obviously a really in yellow uh, raw sienna for your yellows and then you can use you know phthalo green windsor green windsor blue touch of uh, cobalt blue you know create all different greens when you create that that whole spread of green you want to place that in there and keep it nice and juicy and wet so keep keep a nice spray on that okay and then I'm going in with this dark and what I'm doing is, is using the dark as you know the shadow of, of the flowers I know that looks black but it's ultramarine and quin gold and a touch of phthalo green so that it's very green uh, so you can place those darks but make sure that the grass is wet you know spray it so that you get nice soft edges and you can place these darks easily underneath the flowers we're looking for the shadows you know just use them underneath the flowers but use them to shape the flowers as well if you painted the, those blue flowers in there and the shapes weren't what you wanted now's the time to go back and reshape them you know and just let this this dark green flow you know just let it flow see I'm going in and reshaping put a little creating those little circles of blue hydrangeas all right so the key here is keep those edges soft if you put that dark so I'm going in with a little a little a darker but a little more green to it I added some phthalo green to that Windsor green and pushing it around creating some more circles those flowers the shape of the hydrangeas you know just using this dark to go in and pick off little pieces of dark that will help shape the flowers that's what you're looking for you really want to create a nice shape and And just the, especially the bottoms and just the round top there see that beautiful and that'll just touch it touch them all up go right around take your time go in with those darks the key is to you know put those darks in there but make sure you soften the edges so it, it looks as though you know it looks like a shadow uh, fading in and if they're too black go in with a little touch of Windsor green or whatever to bring it back to the green maybe a little uh, Windsor blue with some Aurelian yellow will give you a nice green all right soften those edges get some nice variety of greens in the field there okay all right so I'm going in now with some uh, some blue you can use any blue you want uh, uh, whatever you want for flowers but uh, ultramarine blue cobalt blue even Windsor blue and I added a touch of gouache okay just a touch of white and that's going to help me with the bringing back the blue on the flowers and creating some uh, shadows on the flowers so the darker side we're the light isn't hitting it try to save some of the light on the on the top but if you don't we're going to go in with an even lighter blue and create some more and don't forget to add some rose too you know don't make it all all blue make some of these flowers rose all right so now it's just the whole thing is just a, a bunch of uh shaping these flowers you know creating shadows towards the bottom uh, you know pay attention to how the light is hitting your flowers and just putting little you know how hydrangeas are all a bunch of petals so you know just pick off some light ones and dark ones and just go around the whole painting touching up these little flowers create that nice sense of light okay so be patient and take your time and go through every flower 
make sure it's what you want you know if it's in the light or it's in the shade you know all right i'm going to go in here and just create the, a suggestion of those leaves nothing nothing really important there just you know painting around with a darker green painting around the shape of a leaf uh, going back in with a little more white on the on the on the flowers a little more uh, I added a little white to the bloom that I was using so it's a lighter okay all right uh, I think the final thing here I want to do is go in I'm going in with water this is just clear water I'm placing it that's why I put all that green down there now I'm going in and just lifting off the shape of some leaves okay just just trying to create the sense of those big beautiful leaves they have and you can do as much of that as you want but you got to have pigment on the paper to take it off so you want to make sure you have some nice darker colors down there and just I'm just placing some water clear water and touch it scrub it out you'll know, get some nice shape it's a nice suggestion of leaves you don't want too much detail you're not looking for you know you don't want the attention of your view to go down so what I'm doing here is just bringing up some you know leaves in front of the flowers that's really important and using a darker green again again one more time the key to the adding these darks you can make them as dark as you want but make sure you, you you know rinse out your brush take a lighter green and then soften the edges on those so you don't have that hard edge underneath the flowers okay all right so that's pretty much it all right so there's your field of blue hydrangeas really nice scene thank you ray for your photo really appreciate it and thank you all for viewing i appreciate you joining me on this and if you haven't i would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel and follow me and i will see you again soon thank you so much